Jody. I'd uh, like you to meet Dr. and Mrs. Cavanaugh. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't take your order before. I was very busy. We don't have an order for you. We have a question. Uh, Jody, why don't you sit down and have a little chat with him? Everything will be quite all right. I kept my promise. Jody, you have been following me around. You, you're the one, aren't you? Yes. Well, can you tell me why? I, I don't know. I just wanted to find out more about you. What for? Because, uh, I don't know, I, I wanted to. Was it because my wife is a newscaster on TV? No, it's, it's not because of that. Well, why then? Uh, because... You're my sister. choices on the menu. I really can't blame him much. It means he's really sick, doesn't it? Well, he ate that piece of corn muffin you gave him, didn't he? Yeah. You know, that's an idea. Why don't we call him Muffin? He doesn't have any other name. I think we have Sandy. He sure was when we found him. No, that's Little Orphan Annie's dog. I like the name Muffin. Jody, may maybe we shouldn't name him at all. Why not? Well, sometimes when you give a pet a name, you, you get personally attached to it. You, know? you really think he's going to die, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's a possibility. No, he's going to be okay. And the next time we go to the store, we'll just get him food that he likes. There's no store that we can go to now. I know. We can't go to the general store because they've probably seen our pictures in the paper, even if you did buy the last copy. <laughs> pictures really aren't bad. Pretty cute. Hey, uh, I'll be, uh, be right back. Where you going? I, I got my right back. You know what? I don't care what Kelly says. You should have a name. You like the name Muffin? I hope so, because that's your new name. So please get better, Muffin. I hate to see you sick. Did you hear what I said? I said Gavin is going to be here any second. And if he finds you here, there's just going to be trouble. Well, I like trouble, honey. Don't you know the word trouble and fun mean the same thing to me? Now, about that material... Get away from me! Oh, you're still as friendly as ever, aren't you, Miss Travis? Oh, I know what it is. You don't want to be interrupted, that's it, isn't it? You're afraid someone's going to come walking in here and interrupt our little fun. Or should I say, trouble? <laughs> That should take care of the interruptions. Now let's take care of the fun. Don't do this, Gunther. Just keep away from me. You'll be sorry. I'll tell uh, you're you. gonna be glad, <laughs> honey. <laughs> now, what do you think of this? <laughs> Now, you're just starting to make this interesting, honey. Don't send me back to jail. Tell your boyfriend here not to do his good deed for the day, for old time's sake. Oh, Gavin! Joey! Boy, the wheels keep on turning, 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 don't they? I gotta thank you, honey. You arrived just in the nick of time. And you know what they say? Three's a crowd, but four is a party. What is going on here? This is Max Sharky, Johnny. Does that name ring a bell? Sharky? You mean the guy who kept Nancy Carr captive at the Rexford Clinic? No autographs, please. Jody, how did you find us? I, I went to Sid, and, and she gave me this, this picture of, of your mother. And right in the background here is the Allon Garage. Well, I looked it up in the phone book, and I, and I recognized the house, and here I am. You should have stayed away, Jody. 
Oh, Gavin, I have been so worried about you. I had to try and Who find you. Who else knows? Who else knows you've been playing teen detective? No one. It's not the truth. The cops know about that picture? No, no, look, I, I didn't even tell anyone that I was coming here. I, I was too scared. I, I swear I didn't even tell the police. I didn't... Cops! Well, no cops! I'm holding on to this. And this says it on the law. So you do exactly what I say. And your boyfriend won't get hurt. Really, I'm not going to give you any trouble. Gavin. Hey, what are you, what are you doing, Precious? What are you doing? No, 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 he's got it, girl. You're sticking with me. <laughs> Adventure. It's Jody Travis. But they tell me that your famous martyr was my ancestor, and I'm very proud of that fact. I'm also scared, being here and telling you this. I have never been to the Republic of Eden. I, I don't know much about it, except for what I've heard. Through some people that I met. Young people who love their country. Who love their country so much they lost their lives for it. It sounds like a wonderful place. It, it sounds like a country that loves its freedom, which makes it very much like this country. We once fought a revolution for that very reason. And we had our own martyrs. Some women, too. Very young women, like Marie Bonaventure. Well, I'm not like them. And I'm not like her. I'm not brave and noble the way she was, although right now I wish I were. And I wish I could make you understand what these brave young people believed. That your country is no longer free. That the freedom you won has been lost. That your government is corrupt and selfish and that people are suffering. And they're suffering because they are being ruled by greed and not by compassion. But somebody talked to me before I came here. Somebody by the name of Chad Sutherland, the son of the very own president. about three years ago when I first came to Monticello. And she didn't know anything about me, except maybe that I wasn't as tough as I seemed, and that I needed to be loved. Um, one of her very special qualities was, um, was her ability to see things, you know, see the other side of the story, see it from the other guy's side, and even if she didn't agree with it, in, in fact, um, I was talking about a friend of mine with her the other day. A person um, whom she didn't really approve of. very lucky. Why? To have someone who cares about him as much as you do? Well, I do, but... But what? I'm not ready to move in with him take it slow. I want our relationship to grow naturally. And what I was hoping for was that you and Miles would trust me enough to know that I'm not going to do anything stupid. And I know that Miles and Preacher don't get along. Oh, no, that is an understatement. And I know that Preacher doesn't exactly fit in. But right now I need him. And I need for you to accept him. And if we do, you won't move out? I'm sorry if that sounds like an ultimatum. Oh, Jody. You are a Travis through and through. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? Yeah. And through it all, we have remained sisters and friends. And what are friends for if they can't help each other? You'll try? I'll try. What about Miles? Oh, well, we'll both have to work on him. I love you. I love you. So I'm... I'm glad I told her that I love her. 
And I'm glad that she knew it before she left. So how far is this marina? Oh, a couple miles. We should be able to see it pretty soon because the shore starts to curve. Hey, hey, you ain't got to worry about that, dude. We left him in the dust. Come on. Mutual friends. Listen, I was uh, looking for a little action. I thought I might try you guys on for size. What do you say? Well, you came to the right place. No, she didn't. Oh, come on, Jody. She's just trying to be friendly. Yeah, I'm just trying to be friendly. She can go be friendly with Preacher. Preacher! My nomination for Wimp of the Year Award! <laughs> Yay! That's for sure. <laughs> and you are nothing but a burnt out, drunken has been. And you're not good enough for him. You little witch! Oh, 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 What's going on here? No! 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 Some people have absolutely no sense of dignity. Okay. <laughs> she, she had it coming to her. Dance? <laughs> sure. Come on, dance with me. <laughs> uh. Dance. <laughs> oh. 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 Now have I got your attention? You little witch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Jody, what makes you think Preacher hates you? He hurt me. When, Jody? When did he hurt you? I don't you? want to talk about it. Miles, here he comes. Come on, Jody, I got to talk to you now. Preacher, this isn't exactly... No, no, no. I had some real important dude tonight, do you understand? And I let someone down who was dependent on me. I gave him my word. You called and told me to come down here. No, I didn't, Yes, you did. You said it was urgent. You're a liar! Hey, you're you're sick in the head. What's going on with you? No, I want an explanation! No! Miles, just wait. Oh, God, he's going to cause a scene. No, I want an explanation now! Jody, now! Jody, now! Hey, hey! You want to kill me? Jody! What's going on here? Get out of here! No! Jody, listen to me! Listen to me, Jody! No! Give me the gun, please! No! Stay away from me! Oh, I'm not ever going to stay away from you! No. Stand, never! I love you, Jody. Come here. No, don't. I love you. Well, I hope Chris is going to be okay. Well, I, um, I told Miles we would stop off at the hospital on our way. Is that everything? I would hope so. I mean, your room was like a bunch of army ants went through it or something. It's because I didn't know what I would need. Well, you're taking everything, I mean, but you can see that. <laughs> I guess you know me pretty well, huh? Yeah, I would hope so. I'll be home next weekend. What about the weekend after? Well, maybe you could come up and visit me. No, no, not college. No, I wouldn't fit in. Preacher, you'll fit in fine. Everything's going to be all right. Education is not a terrible thing. I know, Jody, for you, but for me. Yeah. Oh. So are you going to go back to the theater after you finish working with Beth? Yeah, I got nothing else going these days. <sighs> Come on, don't do that, please. All right, let's just forget I said anything, all right? 
And Miles is downstairs waiting for us. Are you, um, you ready to go? could have stopped me. <laughs> Come on, don't give it that. No, it's true. <laughs> but you held back just a little bit. And you know it. <laughs> 